let's now see how God created the universe. Almost all Christians can tell you, I know God created the universe in six days and rested on the seventh. Now it's important for us to realize God didn't do it in some haphazard way. In fact, many Christians struggle to remember what happened first as if it's like you have to memorize. You don't have to memorize because God's very orderly and organized. So we'll see this six-day creation process in this orderly way. It's divided into three days, two three-day sections. The first three days, God prepares the place for this drama to take place, the redemption drama. Then, on the next three days, God puts the cast onto this place. So, okay, the first three days is preparation of the place. And these first three days, you'll notice, are three days where there's contrast or division. First day, God said, let there be light. And he divided light from darkness. So, I want you to know this light didn't come from the sun. The sun was made on the fourth day. So this light came from God. Later, Jesus claims to be God when he says, I am the light of the world. Whoa, okay. So that's a claim of what God did in Genesis. Now, the moment there was light, it divided light from darkness. Huh? Darkness is nothing more than absence of light. <clears throat> so all of a sudden, it's like the, the drama, the lights come on. You want to see any drama, go any drama, there must be lights, otherwise you see nothing. Then on day two, God divided the waters below from the waters above. Up to this point of creation, the world was one mushy mess. And then God divided the waters that were to be left on the ground, on the earth, and from the waters that were above. So they became an expanse, they became a space between these two pieces of water, or these two masses of water, water on the ground and water hanging up there. Right? In the King James, the word is called firmament. Sounds very firm, but actually the word is an expanse, a space between water here and water up here. Today we see clouds and we know most of our water comes from up there. Right? But in this early time, it was not like sporadic clouds. The water here became one huge canopy of water up there. And until the flood of Noah's time, the water was always a huge canopy of moisture of water up there, and the earth never experienced rain before Noah's time. The earth was moisture. It was like a beautiful uh, growing place for plants. The weather was perfect. There was no extremes of flooding and then drought, which we experience all the time now. Rain is a problem like that. Too much here, too little there. At that time, there was enough moisture all around, uniform. It's like almost like a beautiful hot house where plants grow perfectly, right? So until that time, there was this water here and this canopy of water up there. It's almost like the lights have come on and then now you look up at the auditorium and wow! The roof is so high. You know, you go to most of these plays and the, the, usually the plays are held in very nice auditoriums, big dome roof and chandeliers. Whoa, so grand, you know. And then on day three, another division takes place. The mushy ground now is separated into a place called sea. All the water is pushed there and then to land. Okay, so now the stage where most of the action is going to take place, the proper stage is called land, and the rest is called sea. Right? So very easy to remember the creation story. Three days, three days, preparing the stage. And then after that, 
the actors start coming on. Day four, God puts the sun, the moon, and the stars up there, like spotlights for your play. Day five, the minor actors start coming on, background actors. The birds in the air are produced and the fish in the sea. And on day six, ah, the supporting cast comes in, the animals come on the land, and finally the star comes on, man. All right, so quite easy to remember the creation story. Okay, so from now on, if I ask you, tell me the creation story, you can teach a child this, you know, and he probably if he sees how systematic and organized God is, it's easy to remember rather than, oh, first day is what, you know, as if it's very ad hoc. You no, know, God doesn't work that way. God's very organized. Mm -hmm.